here I am again working on the truck. Uh, today I am installing the uh, SNB cold air filter. It is the 75 2503. Uh, it's this guy right here. Big cold air intake. It's going to go right here where the old box used to be. I already got the old box out. Tells you that it's going to be an hour ish to get this all done. But the thing is, is that I had already, somebody had already modified this. They pulled off the other parts and everything. So I don't have to worry about down in there stuff. I just had to do the, the two bolts, one here and one on this side pull them off, pull this up, and undo the hoses. That's out of the way. So now, the only parts I have to worry about is mounting this and installing this. Now it does have a secondary clip that it is going to go on to here uh, to hold the back half up, but you get the whole idea. This is gonna go right in here mount here air filter box is going to be here so much easier a lot less to deal with so to speak so i mean i'm going to have this right here so i'll have cold air intake i'll have better uh breathability because it, it has full surround of air instead of a small little you know four by eight box uh, of air uh, also, this hose gets switched out and replaced so that the, uh, the vent gets, gets filtered as well. And that gets popped off from the head over here. So we'll see how all that goes. Okay, so I've got this mocked up. So you had your one up here, which I'm going to be drilling a hole, running a bolt through. Got to drill a hole and run a bolt through. Your hoses are going to go in here. This is going to be the new uh, vent hose, which is that, that guy right there. So it's going to come around, come up, and go into the base of this. Right in that third hole down there, as you can see, right there. And then... I'll have cold air intake. Now, uh, in the future, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mount that up to that. And then I'm just gonna do a regular small vent there and uh, this uh, idle air, I'll put a, a smaller, you know, like three inch uh, air vent, or air intake at least. Uh, that way I'll have direct intake right there. Air will come here. You'll get the warm air off the engine and feed it instead of having it go through all of this hose to get over there and being over the wheel well, which will open up a whole bunch of space here for other stuff. That'll be the, the gist of it. That's gonna be how it looks. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, so what I've done is I've drilled my side hole here. I've drilled my hole into the uh, step there. I've got this mounted up and bolted. Now I had, without this fits for the 750, I had to use the small side on the filter and then the long side to the frame. That way I have the full extension of these tubes here. So when I mount this back in here, I can uh, slip that in. I, I undid it from over on this side over here. I'll show you real quick. See, I unmounted it from here so that I can take this on and off and have the proper measurements for my lower hole. <clears throat> now what I get to do is mount the bolts. So, uh, did actually, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff for this, and, you know, 
my whole thing is, you know, I put so much stuff together, taking so much stuff apart, you know, I could do some of this stuff in my sleep without even needing the instructions. I mean, it's it's pretty much self-explanatory for most of the part parts here. I mean, biggest issue is, you know, different wheel wells. Some of these vehicles have, have a flat part for the wheel well and then it dips down and so other ones it's a progressive just drop. Mine happens to be the drop so I have to adjust left, right, center, you know, different things. Like when I had to put these on I had to pull it in through this to get it to fit and then extend this out to get it to fit because the hoses are always different. You know, they have them set specific to the vehicles, but there's a, there's slight variations between different vehicles where that'll change. Let's see, so here I sit uh, working this. Get, uh, there we go. I get this mounted. That'll be one less thing to worry about. Uh, of course, uh, it's harder when you have ratchets. You know, they, they tell you to put it in a specific spot, and then where they tell you is slightly different. Uh, I'm gonna have to get me another another uh, 7 16 wrench because where this uh, radiator coolant and washer fluid thing is that's where the bolt goes so it kind of sits but now that I have that in there what I can do is run the bottom side bolt through and get that started and then finish up mounting because all I have to do is attach the hoses on that end and tighten the hoses on this end and I'm done. It's easy. I mean, you got bolt, bolt, you drill a hole here, drill a hole here, and you drill a hole in the bottom. You measure your, your you put your hose in the thing, measure it back, and mount it. Easy. I mean, self-explanatory. And they send you a little card, you know, for the QR code, which I've got right here. those wondering that'll be your code to install now this this is just for like the 750s and stuff but that's how that goes I'll come back after I have it all hooked up and everything Okay, everything's all in. Mounted that, got it clamped on, got it run underneath and clamped on. I've got my, my label pre pressed on here. Tells the filter part number and everything. Got this mounted. What I did here though is I flipped this, I put this underneath instead of on top like they show in the photos because, you know, I've got I've got a freaking hood light and I don't want it smashing into that like so but everything's all hooked up everything's all tightened up everything's snug as a bug now I get to test her out Let's see how this goes now this is cold start so it's Still a little, a little winky and walkity, but I can feel the actual, I can feel airflow on it now. I can feel it sucking air through, unlike before when I had that little side plate. That little piece right there, that little, uh, I think it's like a two by four size hole, that's what fed the air box. Now, you've got full top, full side, full bottom, all the way around, airflow. Warm it up nice.
nicely. And I no longer have that huge jostle, jostle, jostle. It's all gone now. I think my next, next uh, plan is to do uh, motor mounts. I want to make sure that the motor mounts are good. And uh, if anybody's watching this, what the hell is this guy? Because there's airflow coming out of it. It goes up to the stuff up there. Never really understood what the hell it's for. Granted, granted that when I switched out that can uh, canister purge valve and the PV PCB valve, that finally started working. So I don't know. It goes it goes down to canisters. So I don't know, but it runs a lot better now. 